good morning today we will discuss about the chapter motion so already you know what is motion when an object is moving we will say the object is under motion that is the normal meaning of motion but in the physics point of view when we say an object is moving for example an object is here at a particular time after some time it reaches here so we can say the object moved from this point to this point so what is actually motion the object change its position with respect to time so if an object is changing its position with respect to time then we can say the object is under motion so that point is most important that is when an object is changing its position with respect to time when time changes the position changes that is called as motion when we describe motion we have to use so many terms and so many physical quantities for example the distance displacement speed velocity acceleration like that so many physical quantities we have to study so before studying this physical quantity we should know on the broad sense we can divide any physical quantity into two groups so one type of physical quantity is called as vector quantities and another type is called as scalar quantities so what is the difference between these two types of physical quantities first we will take vector quantity vector quantity means a physical quantity which have both direction and magnitude for example we are applying a force so you are applying a force towards this direction so we can say the force is of 10 newton and we are applying towards side or the left side or towards up or towards down so such a physical quantity is called as vector quantity so the vector quantity will have a magnitude what is magnitude when we say 10 newton this 10 is called as a magnitude if you take the weight of an object it is 10 kg so we can say that 10 is called as the magnitude so there are some physical quantities for that one we have a magnitude and a direction so weight of an object means the weight is towards down side so it is having a direction so such a physical quantity is called as vector quantity so the point is vector quantities will have both magnitude and direction now if you take scalar quantities some physical quantities don't have any direction it is independent of the direction or there is no point in mentioning any direction for that one such physical quantities that is the physical quantities which have only magnitude no direction for example time so 10 seconds so we will, there is no direction 10 seconds towards left or right or if you take the temperature uh, 20 degree celsius or 20 kelvin for such physical quantities we don't have any direction such physical quantities are called as scalar quantities so when we are calculating the uh, in higher level the addition subtraction and all for vector quantities and scalar quantities are different that's why we have to study which one is scalar quantity and which one is vector quantity so when we study any physical quantity now onwards we have to classify that one whether it is a vector quantity or a scalar quantity so that's why we started in the beginning by classifying vector and scalar quantity now itself we might have got some examples for vector quantity force weight all those things i told already and uh, time and temperature i told for scalar quantity also when we study each and every physical quantity we will discuss again whether it is a scalar quantity or a vector quantity now when an object is moving from one point to another point for example you have a point a here another point b here the object is moving from the point a to b here itself when we take the actual movement of an object the object can come straight from here to here it can go a curved path like this it can go another path like this so there are so many paths possible for the object to come from a to b so here we have two important physical quantities one physical quantity is called as the distance distance is same as the path length that is the length of the path if you have a here here is the point b and which way it is coming the total length of that path or the total path length covered by the object that is called as the distance so for example you are uh, traveling from one city to another city through a road so the actual length of the road that is that is called as the distance or the path length and the other quantity is called as displacement so displacement means you have a here you have b here and the shortest distance or the straight line distance between a and b so whatever path if you move also 
from this point to this point what is the shortest distance that is called as the displacement so the normal what we call as uh, distance or the path length that is called as a distance and the other quantity is called as displacement displacement is the shortest distance from initial position to the final position so when this uh, distance and displacement will be same if it is moving in a straight path then the distance and displacement will be same otherwise always displacement will be shorter than distance only this distance and displacement will be same when it is moving in a straight line path and otherwise another possibility is if it is not at all moving then distance and displacement both will be zero normal case we can say if it is moving in a straight line path if the object is moving in a straight line path then the distance and displacement will be same otherwise always distance will be more at the shortest distance because the displacement itself says it is shortest distance so displacement will be always less than distance now if you take again this distance and displacement we, you can classify it as two way the first difference is the definition itself because the actual distance cover or the actual length of the path is called as distance the shortest distance is called as displacement and the distance is a scalar quantity because we are not specifying any direction which can be the total length and displacement is specified by a particular direction so the distance will be a scalar quantity and displacement will be a vector quantity and if you take the si unit both distance is measured in meters and displacement also measured in uh, meters only we can use so many other units also but we will use the si unit si unit means system international so the internationally accepted uh, unit for distance and displacement both are meter only we have other feet is there kilometer is there so many are there but we have to go for a international standard international standard means meter when it when we are saying kilometer that is 1000 meter if you take centimeter that's also related to meter only but other found uh, this something like feet for long that we should not use okay if you are using you are to use the entire unit in that system of unit that will be a difficult thing so you use it as our normal meter only so the two physical quantities are distance and displacement distance means the actual length of the path and displacement means the shortest distance distance is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity and both have the same unit both are measured in meters now you consider one object which is moving from a point a to b so this object can move from a to b in different path let this be the path 1 and this is another path which can be termed as 2 this is another path which is 3 so this object can move from the point a to b in different ways we are just taking three examples we can go for so many path now you see here this this is the distance through the path 2 and this is the distance or the path length through this third path now this is the shortest distance so this will be displacement so this shortest distance this will be displacement this two are distance so if the object moves in any of these three path when we calculate displacement that is this one this straight shortest distance but if it is moving in this way then distance is this one but displacement is this one itself and if it is moving in this way third path the distance is the length of the third path but displacement is the shortest distance if it is moving in a straight line then both distance and displacement will be in the same now you think if an object starts from here the point a and it is going to point b and you have another point c here let this distance uh, be something like 50 meter and this distance be 20 meter now if the object starts from a and it is going to b then both distance and displacement is 50 meter if it is going here then both distance and displacement are this 50 plus this 20 so total it is 70 now you think if it is starting from a going to b going to c again coming back to b so in this case the distance will be the 50 plus 20 which is 70 again 20 in this direction 90 so that will be the distance so the uh, distance will be 90 meter what about displacement the initial and final only you have to take so the displacement will be 
only 50 meter so this is the difference now if you take an object which is moving in a circular path starting from here it is coming back to the same position not only circular path in any path if it is starting and coming to the same point then the displacement will be displacement will be zero when it is coming to the initial position now you can take another type of situation also so if it is starting from here going here and afterwards it is going here for example this is 40 meter and this is 30 meter now from the point a to b it is reaching so this this much distance it it is actually the distance covered will be this 40 plus 30 that is 70 meter this is the distance covered now if you want to take the displacement how much is the displacement that is this shortest distance you have to take root of 40 square plus 30 square so you will get this value as 50 meter by using the Pythagoras theorem so this is the way of calculating the distance and displacement so the actual length or actual root or actual path length that is called as the distance and from the final and initial position after the entire travel how much is the distance or the shortest distance that is called as displacement this is how we will classify distance and displacement now we have another classification that is the motion of an object can be classified as uniform motion or non-uniform motion if we check the moment of an object for example after each one second we are checking where is the position of the object so starting it is at a particular position after one second where is the position or after another one second over so each one second if the object is moving a particular distance that is same distance or if after each one minute if you take each after one minute is moving 100 meter 100 meter like that if it is moving then it is called as uniform motion that is if the object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time then we can say the object is going under uniform motion if the object is covering unequal distance that is object is going somewhere and stopping there again moving or in between the speed reduces speed increases in such a case if the distance covered by the object is not same if the distance covers unequal distance in equal intervals of time then we can say the object is under non-uniform motion so we can classify the motion as uniform motion and non-uniform motion if the object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time we can say the object is under uniform motion if the object covers unequal distance in equal intervals of time we can say it is non-uniform motion in simple words we can say if it is moving with the same speed we can say it is uniform motion if it is speed reduces or if it stops then we can say it is non-uniform motion now we will think about the speed of the object so you might have heard the about the speed of the object so in the vehicle we have something called as a speedometer which shows the speed i think you might have seen in the vehicle one needle will be there which is showing how much speed it is so that is thing is called a speedometer so the speedometer shows the speed of the vehicle and below that one another meter also is there where you can see how much kilometer it is traveling that what is the name of that meter that is called as odometer odometer means same in the speedometer itself another screen will be there or another number will be there which shows how much distance it is so these two terms you should know speedometer means the one which shows the speed and how much distance it is traveled there is another screen in the new vehicle there will be a screen in the old vehicle you can see some numbers rolling so that is called as odometer odometer shows how much distance it traveled and speedometer shows how much or what speed it is moving so our point is what is the speed so when we say it is moving with a high speed if it covers more distance in less time so the distance traveled per unit time that is called as speed so speed can be written as speed is equal to distance by time or if an object covers more distance it is moving with a very high speed so what is speed now the total distance traveled divided by total time taken that is called as speed or sometimes you will call it as average speed because if it changes otherwise if you say speed means or average speed it is same only we will use the word average speed because sometimes speed may be increasing and decreasing that's why so the distance traveled divided by time that is called as speed so what will be the SI unit of this one? Distance by time. Distance is in meters, time is in seconds. So meter per second. So 
so speed of the object means distance traveled by time so what about this uh, quantity whether it will be a scalar quantity or a vector quantity already you know distance is a scalar quantity and distance by time also will be naturally a scalar quantity so when an object is moving we can think about the distance and divided by time that is called as speed now similar to speed we have another physical quantity which is called as velocity same as this one but here we will consider distance there we will consider displacement so displacement by time that is called as velocity velocity is a new term for you it's similar to the speed itself but it is displacement by time the displacement by time is called as velocity and there will be a naturally a difference because distance by time is a scalar quantity displacement by time is a vector quantity so this velocity is displacement by time or we can say velocity is the speed in a particular direction or speed with a direction the speed with direction is called as velocity so distance by time is called as speed displacement by time is called as velocity and distance is a scalar quantity sorry the speed is a scalar quantity velocity is a vector quantity or again velocity can be called as speed with direction now consider an object which is traveling a distance generally for distance we will take s sometimes we will take d also but we will take for distance and displacement s okay s or d both we can take now if it is traveling a distance s yes, in a time t then our velocity our speed can be written as speed is equal to distance by time if it is moving as a different different path then it will, it will be the total distance divided by total time when you write it as equation for speed we will write v is equal to distance is s yes, divided by t so this is the equation for speed so speed is given by total distance divided by total time so the distance should be in which unit it should be in meter and the time should be in second so its unit will be meter per second we can write meter per second like this or meter second raised to minus 1 this both we will read as meter per second we can write meter per second like this meter divided by second or ms minus ms raised to minus 1 like this this both meaning is meter per second itself so this is about the speed now if you take velocity also same way only velocity is given by velocity is equal to this instead of distance it will become displacement here displacement divided by time so equation is same v is equal to s by t so here v means it is velocity s yes, means it is displacement and t is time unit is same meter per second or meter in any one you have to write no need of writing both okay any one you can use like this or like this and as i told this one or this one means don't write this both no you can write only one whichever you want you can write and you can clearly say this one is distance by time so it will be a scalar quantity this is displacement time so it will be a vector quantity or we can say speed is distance by time and velocity means displacement by time or velocity is the speed with direction the speed with direction is called as velocity now you have so many one mark question and also question can come what is speed with velocity it is or speed with velo sorry speed with direction is called as dash speed with direction is called velocity now in the case of vehicles you might have seen something called as accelerator if you have bike you have something which you turn like this to increase the speed that is called as accelerator in cars also we have something called as accelerator so when you use this accelerator what is happening the speed is increasing or the velocity is increasing so what is acceleration means this acceleration says how much speed is increasing per time or acceleration is the change in velocity by time so what we can say change in velocity means you have a initial velocity that is a starting time velocity and you have a final velocity so the difference between the initial velocity and final velocity that is final velocity minus initial velocity so for final velocity we will use the letter v and for initial velocity we will use the letter u so v minus u 
that will be the change in velocity change in velocity divided by time that will give acceleration and just like velocity acceleration is also a which quantity it will be a vector quantity acceleration is also a vector quantity so acceleration is given by change in velocity by time or acceleration is equal to v minus u divided by t now you consider an object which is moving with a velocity u so this u is to mention the initial velocity initial means the starting velocity so initial velocity is u and after that if it changes its velocity the final velocity is v so the difference between this initial and final velocity that will be the change in velocity that is v minus u means change in velocity so our acceleration is given by a is equal to v minus u by t so what is this one x a is acceleration v is final velocity minus initial velocity by time or acceleration is change in velocity by time or in physics words we will say acceleration is called rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity is called as acceleration so if the definition of acceleration is asked means you have to write it as rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity is called acceleration or a, a is equal to v minus u divided by t this is the equation for acceleration now the acceleration can be positive or negative when the acceleration a is positive what is the meaning of that one v minus u is positive means v is bigger than u or when acceleration is positive the meaning is the value or the speed is increasing if acceleration is zero what is the meaning there is no acceleration the speed remains same if acceleration is negative a is negative then what is the meaning the speed is reducing the speed is reducing that is the final velocity is less than initial velocity this negative acceleration is also called as retardation retardation means negative acceleration another word is deceleration so this negative acceleration is also called as deceleration or retardation this one happens when you move in a vehicle you are applying the brake so the speed reduces so we are giving a negative acceleration or we can say uh, we are giving a retardation or we are giving a deceleration for the object so acceleration can be negative or positive okay this velocity also can be positive or negative the negative velocity means it is just the it is moving in the opposite direction you have a particular direction if it is moving in the opposite direction we will say it as negative but in the case of speed it is a scalar quantity so positive negative direction will not come so speed will be always uh, written in positive quantity only velocity can be negative also if that velocity is negative the meaning is if it is going this way with the velocity v that is velocity v is in this way and if it is coming this way we can say it is minus v now what about acceleration acceleration is positive means the it is increasing velocity is increasing acceleration is negative means velocity is decreasing 